It's been four months since I went to the hairdressers. Lockdown haircut. Oh, important day though. Could win the league, I think, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yes, welcome back to another episode of World Rotterdamination. I've kind of threw it away. I had, I was eight points clear um, of mines, of course, at the end of the last episode. And since then, we lost against two Spanish teams. Actually, we didn't lose against two Spanish teams. You can see it on the screen. I lost against a Spanish team, and then I drew against one. So we lost a lot of points. We dropped five points down. And Mines, did they drop any points? Did they hell? They continued their winning spree, uh, which puts them three points behind us. Yes, we have guaranteed playoffs, and it's going to be very hard for us not to actually qualify um, automatically. But we want the league title. We want the double because, of course, we also have the Sassuolo game, which will be on Monday's episode, the World Cup Final. UEFA World Cup Final, or as you guys know it, the Carabao Cup. Definitely doesn't sound as good as what World Cup Final does, though, does it? I'm just going by what the man who made this database called it. World Cup Final. So yes, we are against Mines. We have a very tricky tie uh, against Rennes right after. So if we win both of these games, we then have two games after that. If Mines lose both of those games, we win the league. If my, if we beat Mines and then we beat Stad Rennes, but Mines win, I think we win. I'm not quite sure. I, I, maybe it's because of the uh, the away. Uh, win rule. We we might have to wait until the, the the last two games. I'm not quite sure how that basically works. We'll soon find out because it's tricky and complicated. I'm not willing to do it myself. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. So let's get cracking. Let's have a look at today's lineup. Here we are then, we of course have Van Bormoos in the net, Armini and Jerry with Iter and Kelvin either side of them. Tonali in the hole with Locatelli and Hans Salin in front. Ferry Sturrus in the number 10 role, Les Jack and Rian Brewster up top. We have some injuries folks. Yeah, we have Renier suspended and we also have Morelos out for another two to three weeks, which is obviously a massive blow because I think he's going to miss the cup final as well. Uh, so that's annoying. However, I still think we have goals in Les Jack and Rian Brewster. Maybe not as much as what we do with Morelos. He just seems to be that much better this season. But here we go. Locatelli's in there. Armini now picks it up from the throw-in. Tonali. This is one thing that I did in the uh, halfway through the season is I changed the set pieces and I put our defenders going up for long throw-ins just for that reason of their knock-ons and stuff like that. Kelvin, that's a foul. That is a dirty cheating foul. Referee's going to go see. I think that's a penalty. I reckon they'll give a free kick. It certainly looks like it should have been a penalty. And it's just a free kick. Of course, I knew exactly what I meant when I said that. To me, it looked inside the box. I knew it was going to be right on the edge. Tonali takes it. It's gone all the way through to Jerry. And I think that is highlight over. We're now going to defend a corner, which we have done. We've done so, so far. Oh, it's been played right back, though. Into the path of Vadim Karpov, who's smashed it into the back of our net. Now, that is frustrating. Now, Mines doesn't exactly have a team that you look at and go, that's a good team. But what I think they have is players who you don't necessarily recognize, but turns out to be really good FM players, like Karpov, to be fair. I know he's good because I've trialed him for player spotlights. Medi now. Aaron. There's Fernandez, Quayson. Another one of those players, Santon. On the inside, he's played it right across. And we're lucky that no one was in there punishing us. Surely we're not going to throw this away, though. That's their free kick, but can we break? Armini has somehow been pushed off that. He's offside. I know he's offside. Don't worry. Know the rules of the game. Right, well, it's half time then. We've literally had no attempts, really, on their goal. Um, other than we might have had a penalty. And that's disappointing me. We are away from home. I understand that, that away games are much more difficult in the World Super League because you have to travel. 
but I still expected better. And now we are really riding our luck. They struck the bar. It's played in. Van Bormis has made a save. And my word, I miss how good we were about three or four games ago. We've really been in a bad stretch of form since the last episode, to be honest, in the cup game. Uh, I know it's only been two games, but we didn't even look like we were going to win those two games. And now, I mean, look at this. 6.4 to so both of our... Well, one of our strikers, actually. Uh, and we haven't really got anyone to play up there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off Rian Brewster. And I'll put Ferry Sturrus up top. And we've got three players who can play there. Let's go with Eric Riera. I'm training him in this position because at the minute, obviously, we don't have any wingers. It's another string to this man's bow, and he's starting to pick up the position quite nicely. So if he does continue to impress me, it could be his in the future. Um, if we sell Renier, or I don't know how that's going to look in the future, of course. Now, everywhere else on the pitch, we look like we're solid, and necessarily we don't have the players to come on and make a difference. So for the time being... Let's just stick with this. Very Sturrus has given a big opportunity up top. He's on a 6.8. He's doing well. Can he capitalise on that? I mean, he's nodded it down to Les Jack. I think he's still on side. Tonali to Kelvin. Pull it back if you can. That's definitely a penalty this time. The same guy has brought Kelvin down again. And Kelvin wins another penalty. We're going to have to wait. And I'm not actually quite sure who's going to take this. All of our penalty takers are not on the pitch. And what I forgot to mention is that for some reason, Van Bormoos has been taking our free kicks recently. I need to change that too. There it is. It is a penalty and Kelvin's going to take it himself. Oh God, no. This smells disaster. Kelvin. Yes, he scores. Get in there. Well, he's fantastic. He has actually been fantastic. And I had a news thing through the other day saying that he could potentially win player of the season for this division, which I would be shocked with. But fair play to Kelvin. Brought him in at right back. Didn't know much about him. And he's performed. We do have another opportunity here from a corner. Riera's played it in. Ferry Sturrus has put it in. And that could be the goal that wins us the title. It's too early to say yet. It's way too early. But on the 80th minute, Ferry Sturrus, the 17-year-old, has captured... Oh, he's just... He, he, he just put his head down. He didn't even arrow it. He just... That's a fantastic goal. Now can we continue? We, I, I want to make a change. Sandra Tanali looks a bit tired. If we put Hans Sal in back there, Jalo leading off in that role. We swap those two round. It just gives us a little bit more legs in the middle of the park there. No one else I really want to change because they're all really young and not quite developed. We need to hold on though. It is extra time. I don't like messing around with the tactics too much. Jalo leading off, heads it over. I think what I will do is just go to time wasting. That's that's all I want to do. Go to time wasting. Play a little bit shorter and pass it. Stop running at defence. I don't want to change it from attacking because the best one with defence is attack. Continue going like this. Get in there. That is a fantastic victory. A 2-1 victory coming back from 1-0 down after a very poor first half. That could be vital for us. We could win the title against Rennes. Now, you do not know how much that excites me. We had a comment about that in the last video. Thank you very much for that. I'm excited for this. I'll see you in a bit. We actually guaranteed promotion with that victory. So that, really happy. But here we go. Board set budgets, 72 million. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Thanos. Uh, we actually have an opportunity to, to really bring in some big names here. Because 72 million in this database gets you some good stuff. I can tell you that. I've got my eye on a couple of players. I've got my eye on a couple of players. This could be good. Right, here we go. Stirred Wrens awaits us. And I think mines. I mean, they... Hold on, hold on. They're away to Bologna. Which could be a very difficult game, to be fair. Um, now, tactics-wise... Let's have a look at this squad. I don't know whether I need to really change anything. Renier is still suspended, which is very irritating. Uh, and Morelos, of course, is still injured. On the bench, we seem to just have the same amount of backup. We don't really have anyone to return. So it could well be we just play the exact same squad. They didn't do a bad game, to be fair. They just... This is a very poor first half. Second half, they were brilliant. So let's see if we can continue our little run here. Uh, I'll continue our half of good performance. Now, I don't really recognise a lot of their players. 
which could be a good thing, actually. I know that they're tricky. We've gone up with them um, the last year, of course, and they actually won the league. Did they? I can't remember. They finished above us, I know that, because um, I was so annoyed with it. Right, enough of that. Let's see how we're going to get on here. And I think, let me put this here. Right, mines are right above us, so we can see how they're doing too. It's early highlight as well. Tonali picks it up. We're in red. Lovely little ball to Locatelli. Good run as well. Very good run from Locatelli. He's picked up the loose ball. Tonali finds a tear. What a ball that is. Oh, it's been blocked. Locatelli is going to pick it up, though. That little turn inside was lovely. Les Jack heads over. It's a good start from us this time round. And we continue that with a free kick just inside their half. I mean, to Tonali. And I like how this is spread out when there's no one around us. It worries me if we play a team where they're, they're pressed high and they've just got someone sat on our back line. But still, Calvin now. Of course, so much danger for them last game. Rian Brewster's hit the bar. What an effort from both our strikers so far. Glancing headers from crosses. Les Jack's there again. He can't quite get it. And I think this isn't done yet. Tonali. Ferry Sturrus loses out. Unlucky. Ferry Sturrus actually just signed a new contract for five years as well. And we're only paying him five grand. Unbelievable stuff. Tonali. Oh, he's hit the bar again. Twice we've hit the woodwork now. We do have a free kick. Luckily, it's not Van Bormy who's taken it. Tonali is whiskers away. They've been very quiet, though. Which worries me that we haven't finished them off. Well, fin I say finished them off, but finished a chance yet. Locatelli all the way through. Manuel Locatelli. I mean, he went on a mazy run at the start of the game. That one was even better. Right through the heart of their defence. Picked up the ball. What a run that is. Just ran at them. Just kept going. Past two players. Into the box. Oh, a lovely finish as well. Opened up his body and slotted it home. What a fantastic goal and what an acquisition that was to bring him in. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. This could be game over. Already, viewers, this could be game over. Kabaks give away a penalty. Rian Brewster's going to take it. Rian Brewster finishes it. And we're 2-0 up in half an hour. And currently, with two games left, we're nine points clear. That is because Mines is 1-0 down already to Atalanta. This could be our crowning moment. At home as well, which makes it even better. I wonder if they brought the trophy here. We'll go 3D at the end, if it continues, of course. Let's let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Still a second half to go yet. And now Rennes look like they want to play it. That's onside too. And what a fantastic save from Van Bormoos. I think it was Kelvin keeping him onside. Poor defend... Poor defending and poor uh, knowledge of where you are on the pitch there from Kelvin meant that the rest of our defence thought he was miles offside. He wasn't. Right, as we go into half-time then, as you can see, 1-0 down, Loren, with a 25th minute goal against Mines. Go out there, prove a point. We do have Hans Salen, who is struggling from a knock. He had a gashed leg. Uh, he's at 74%. I'm going to keep him on the pitch for a little bit longer because he's actually been vital for us since joining the club in January. Ball in. Van Bormis makes a save. And it's not over there. He plays the ball to Kelvin. Nodded it up to Rian Brewster. He's knocked it down to a Stad Rennes player. Now they begin to play again. De Cunha. Oh, Iter. What a great interception that is. He's still got it. He's run past the defender. He's pulled it back. And Rian Brewster has missed from six yards. He's hit the bar again. Throw in then. We have our defenders forward. It has thrown it in. It's bouncing around everywhere. How's that not gone in? It has gone in. Domen Les Jack makes it three in the most weirdest way. I think they hit a clearance and it hit our player, which then struck the post. We hit the woodwork again, viewers. Yeah, Kanate boots it against number 28. Is that Rian Brewster? And Domen Les Jack is first on there to bang it in the net. Now we can bring off Hans Salin for that cup final, which we have in a few days' time. Uh, and let's bring on the youngster, to be honest. Let's bring him on and give him an opportunity as well. Uh, and we, in fact, no, let's make a couple of changes. Locatelli's playing out of his skin, viewers, so we won't change him. Uh, in fact, let's bring off Tenali. We'll put Shallow Leeds off there and we'll swap those two around. I think that's the best way to go and maybe even swap those two around as well. Uh, and then after this, potentially, I think we keep it as it is for the time being. We keep it as it is. Just go a little bit further. 
into the game. And then I, maybe I want to bring on Graham Ash, who is a youngster who I picked up on a free transfer. Uh, and just see how he gets on in the last sort of 10 minutes. Although, minds have come back. A quick fire double has made it so that we will... I don't think we'll be winning the game. That's annoying. That's very frustrating. Let's make this change now. Uh, Graham Ash is going to come on. We'll, we'll change them around again. Everyone's moving around everywhere. Jalo Lidenov has been on the pitch five minutes, playing three different positions. We still have an opportunity to make this even better for ourselves. Let's just put it in. It is offside, though. Rian Brewster. Just in case. I'm moving it to 3D. Just in case. Mines have now gone 3-0 up, though. So Taremi's made it 3 it doesn't look like we have won it from this, so we will have to wait until Monday's episode for the double. The cup final and the game against Dinamo Kiev, where all we need is a point. All we need is a point from the last two games to win the league. Six points clear. Our goal difference is far superior, but of course that doesn't matter. It is done on away wins. And to be honest, only I could throw this away now. But hey, we, we keep our fingers and toes crossed. So Locatelli, with a man of the match performance, and he deserves the praise I'm going to give him there. So that is absolutely fantastic. Well, we will bring you back, of course, then on Monday. We have that cup final game against Sassuolo. So that's going to be uh, really interesting. It's played at Wembley as well. So that's quite nice. A nice trip to Wembley. Dinamo Kiev and Sheffield United await us to win and lift the trophy. It would be nice to do it in our home, at, at home, sorry, against Kiev. So that's where I'm going to obviously aim to get at least a point, um, which is annoyingly three days after the Sassuolo game. So I'm going to have to rest some players now. And I might even give them a two-day rest as well for their massive performance. So that's good. But anyway, massive thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like on the video if you can. That would be fantastic. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. Will we get the double? Do we stand a chance in this cup? I don't know. I think I, I fancy our chances for sure. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you do not miss an episode. We still have about 20% of people watching this series who hasn't subscribed yet. So please press that red button, subscribe, join the Omega Club Discord channel, and I'll see you on Monday for the double. Bye bye. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's another one below that I have picked for you to have a look at. Also, if you'd like to sponsor me as a content creator by pledging to my Patreon page, you can do just that by following the link below and be like one of these wonderful people. Thank you.